1027 EBN. I'm here with an artist. He did this bottle right here for Jameson. Limited edition that you can only get right here in beautiful Dublin, Ireland. Paul Daly, thank you so much for sitting down. Pleasure, pleasure. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you as well. Now, this has got to be a tough gig working for Jameson, right? Yeah, well, no. What it is, I'm an independent artist, but I, they uh, they asked about eight uh, art, Irish artists, fairly well-known artists, to come up with ideas, and I won the competition. So very, very good. Nice yeah. chunk of change, I'm hoping, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, very good. Now, very good, very good. Now, do you, have, uh, you do other artwork as well, obviously. I yeah, I do. I design. I have my own bars and restaurants as well, but... But this is an incredible thing to do. So I know a lot about the industry, and that possibly made it made it work for me in a sense. But I wanted to sort of try and bring the ancient uh, symbolism of the Celtic work, juxtaposed with my sort of rock and roll background. Yes. Onto this design. Well, when you walked in here, I thought, what band is that guy in? Because yeah, yeah, we've been interviewing bands and yeah, stuff today, yeah. and I'm thinking, oh, he must he must be the front man for a band, and here you are, an artist. Well, I used to be. That's what I used to do. I used to be in a band, but. But the thing was just to bring that whole culture, you know, that that is is the culture of music and everything, uh, which is like a modern Ireland, and it's same. It's a sort of culture that's really, you know, all over the world now, obviously, with youth culture having won. Yes. So you know, to bring the Irish version of that onto the bottle is a beautiful thing, and the Irish are so well known for visual arts, you know. You guys, and we've been here for a week now, and I can just say, uh, the people here of this country, your country are just you can just tell they're so proud i don't care if you're a cab driver i don't care if you're a bartender everybody has always got something they're always willing to help us out absolutely and talk well well obviously irish love love americans so much of irish culture is you know in america and um, yeah, yeah they just love americans well they actually they're just the same with most people but they they particularly like americans because americans are a bit similar in a sense that if an Irishman goes to America, Americans are very much like that as well, aren't they? Like, how's it going? What's going on? You know, if, if they see somebody who's asking them a question or whatever. So the same thing happens here. But um, but the Irish are famous for that. It's you know, and we're so we're so just enthralled with the accent as well, yeah. especially the women. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, an Irish woman. We had Kelly over here from Jameson earlier, yeah. and she could have read a, a cooking <laughs> recipe or something. I would have just been like, hmm. So that's mm-hmm. great. Does it fit? So it seems really exotic to you. Yes. That's, really, that's good. That's now, good. but now, how do now we really don't have accents? I don't think in yeah. America. Like if you're from maybe the East Coast or something like that. But do you hear like does our oh, language yeah. sound really oh, bad? Well, well, no, 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 no. Well, well first of all, I used, to, I, asked, I used to live in New York, so I know actually different regional accents in America. Oh, okay. But um, uh, like I, the same in Ireland, we have incredible regional, uh, incredible strong accents. Like even in this from different parts of the city here. From the north, from the south, from the east, from the you know, from the west of Dublin itself, there's different accents, and uh, so in terms of the rest of the country, there's strong accents from every region. Um, but to you, it might all sound similar in the same way that in America, a Texan accent is different. Oh, I got you, yeah. Virginian, but obviously, America is just so much bigger, you know. Now, can you do uh, can you do an American accent at all since you've lived there? Oh yeah, I mean I can put it on a little bit, you know, to put put it along, and maybe people won't really be able to tell the difference. I don't know. It kind of goes in and out of different regions. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they tell me when I when I start to do my Irish accent. They're starting to say like, oh, it's, well, that's it's, it's Yeah, see, exactly. <laughs> it starts with the best well, intention, you, then it ends up north. You immediately went to a bit of a Scottish thing there now, which is a much stronger thing. Yeah, like that. yeah. No, 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 no. An Irish accent is a very like it's it's a yeah it's a harder thing to do. You'd have to study it a bit more to get the little intonations. Funnily enough, a lot of actors who do play Irish parts, I'm blown away recently about how accurate they get it. They must really spend a lot of time here. Well, it's like Colin Farrell does yeah. an amazing, like, because usually all his roles, yeah, yeah. you know, are in America. Yeah. He does an amazing job yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's possibly easier for us to go the other way, I think, because a lot of the accent, a lot, I think the Irish accent is similar, makes up a lot of the American accent in English, obviously. Um, it makes up for a lot of it. And I don't see English people being able to make their accents immediately that quick. I can even ask my niece, Timea, from seven. Timea, put on an American accent and she'd give it a go. If I said to her, Timea, put on an English accent, it wouldn't be as easy for her. Really? Yeah. Well, if we're anything Americans, we are easy. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. Now, are you going to be uh, are you going to be with us tomorrow for the celebration here? Of course. That'll be of great. Yes. That'll be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, great to meet you, man. And uh, This is John Daly's bottle right here that he yeah, designed. Yeah, yeah. All right, and we'll see you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for stopping by. Great to meet you, man. All right. Thanks.